I've seen this Guardian article popping up all over my news feed since late August 2025. The headline phrased the chance of an AMOC collapse as no longer low likelihood. Don't worry, I'll drop a link in the description so you can check it out yourself. Now I've researched Atlantic currents before, especially the Atlantic Meridional Overturning Circulation, or AMOC, so I should have paid attention right away. But honestly, that wording tripped me up. It sounded like a double negative, no longer unlikely. Does that mean likely? Certain? Not exactly. Scientists use language like this very carefully, and decoding it matters. Because when we're talking about the AMOC, we're talking about a system that helps stabilize the planet's climate. If it tips, we're not just debating semantics. We're talking about rising seas, flooding coastlines, droughts in the tropics, and Europe freezing even as the rest of the world overheats. And the changes could last for generations. So let's clear this up. First, I'll explain what scientists mean by no longer unlikely. Then I'll walk through how the Atlantic current works, what interferes with it, and why this new study feels more alarming than earlier forecasts. So what does no longer unlikely mean? In this context, it means an outcome that used to be considered remote is now considered plausible, and in some scenarios, even likely. For example, earlier models suggested the AMOC probably wouldn't collapse before 2100, which made it sound like a far-off problem. But when scientists extended their models further out, they saw potential tipping points within just a few decades. Once the tipping point is crossed, collapse becomes almost inevitable, even if the full shutdown takes many more decades. Think of the AMOC as a giant undersea river made of multiple currents. Warm, salty water moves north, including the Gulf Stream, which people often confuse with the AMOC itself. As that warm water flows north, it releases heat, which is why coastal areas in Europe and North America have milder climates. By the time the current reaches Greenland, the water has cooled but is still salty and dense. That density makes it sink, powering the conveyor belt by pulling more warm water from the south. Then, deep currents carry cold water back south, where it warms and rises again to repeat the cycle. What weakens this process? Melting ice from Greenland, and the Arctic adds fresh water. Fresh water is less dense, so the salty water isn't sinking as efficiently. If the sinking slows enough, the conveyor belt weakens, and eventually could stop. Scientists already know the AMOC is weaker than it's been in 1,600 years, and it's trended downward in the past decade. Professor Stefan Romstorff of the Potsdam Institute for Climate Impact Research even called the new models shocking. He once thought collapse odds were under 10%. After this study, he puts them closer to 25%. And that's only if countries actually meet Paris Agreement targets, which looks less and less likely. So no, the AMOC won't collapse tomorrow. It could still take centuries, or it may not happen at all. But the chance of reaching a tipping point within decades is now very real. And we're already seeing effects of a weakening AMOC. Higher sea levels and flooding along the U.S. East Coast Fisheries in the Gulf of Maine collapsing as waters warm. Stronger Atlantic storms fueled by that heat. In Europe, paradoxically, heat waves and droughts alongside fears of much colder winters. Globally, disrupted monsoons in India and droughts in Africa. None of this is good news. Collapse isn't inevitable yet. But it's getting more likely every decade we continue high emissions. Since the 1950s, Scientists believe the EMOC has already weakened by about 15%, and tipping points could arrive by the 2050s. We may not be able to stop it entirely, but we owe it to our kids and grandkids to push leaders, in government and business, to both cut emissions and prepare for the changes already on the way. Do you have anything to add about this news? Is it too grim or not forceful enough? Let us know what you think in the comments. Please, Let's just keep it civil so we can benefit from our community. Speaking of community, I always appreciate it when you like my videos and subscribe to the channel. These actions keep us connected. And some days, y'all keep me going. Stay safe out there.